Broadway became a way of sorrow yesterday, its motion and its bad lamps still, as the funeral cortege of Captain Emilio Carranza passed along it. It was a tribute of silence such as New York has seldom paid to any man. 200,000 persons stood along the route of the solemn procession. 10,000 more were outside Pennsylvania Station to witness the honors. There was not a sound, the note of homage that reached final expression at the station had been sustained. From the time the cortege formed and began the slow march down Broadway, moving to the sound of muffled drums and the rhythmic thread of marching feet. 10,000 soldiers led the cortege. Then behind them came the white ranks of sailors, the swords of officers decorated with black bows. Six black horses drew the black caisson. Resting upon it was the bronze coffin. Artillerymen from West Point were astride the horses. The caisson moved so slowly as to seem to not move at all. Directly behind the caisson came the military symbol of a comrade passed on as a riderless horse. A tall black charger had been chosen for this post in the cortege, and over the animal a black mantle had been draped. A corporal from Governor's Island led the charger. Showing through a slit in the mantle was a saber with a bow of black tied to the guard. A pair of black stirrups were suspended from the empty saddle. The stirrups held a pair of military boots. Thousands gazed at it in silence. Heads were barred and here and there. A woman dabbed her eyes with a handkerchief as the coffin moved past. Overhead on an escort such as Captain uh, would have liked most of all, <clears throat> maintained guard. 21 airplanes from Mitchell Field and from Miller Field, drone above the procession coming at times close to housetops when their motors sounded accompaniment to the muffled drums below. They moved in slow circles during the firing of the last volleys and the sounding of taps. When asked about all this, Emilio's father said, the tribute which the people of the United States are giving my son today is given to him not only because he was a soldier, but, be because he, he was a servant who sought to unite two nations in goodwill. Never before, never since. Get him up. 